Yeah, I am Matt from USG. This is Knowledge Job. What we're going to do today is talk about pipe preparation for soldering and actually go over soldering some 22 mil pipe. So first thing we're going to do is look at the tools that we've got then. So we're going to need some gas, uh, different types. This one's blue bottle, so this is propane. You can get the yellow bottle map gas. Um, we need the torch, which is obviously going to go onto the bottle, which will allow us to apply heat to the pipe to solder later on. What we've also got is two different forms of cleaning the pipe. So we've got the pipe cleaning tool, or we've got the good old Scotch Bright. So we need to clean the pipe and the fittings prior to any soldering taking place. We've also got flux and a brush. The brush is contained within the flux in this one. And we've got lead-free solder, what we're going to be using today. What we've also got is a pipe slice here, so we can use, um, once we've measured the pipe with a tape measure, we've got the correct length, we can get the pipe slice on and then cut the pipe down into usable lengths which I've already done. So the first thing that we're going to do is have to prepare the pipe for soldering. So to do this what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean a couple of lengths of the pipe up and clean the fitting. So getting the old tool I'm going to place the pipe in and just clean the ends just getting rid of any dirt or any excess grease or anything that is on the end of the pipe. Uh, once it's clean, it comes up nice and shiny, ready, so there'll be no dirt on there, which will affect the solder once we start. So once I'm happy I've cleaned both ends of my pipe, I'm just going to get the fitting, and again I'm going to clean the inside of the fitting. So that's the fitting clean, so the next thing I'm going to do is using a solder and a brush I'm just going to apply a liberal amount of solder onto both ends of the pipe work and then attach it onto the fitting. So using a brush I'm just going to apply a liberal amount of solder making sure that it's all the way around the pipe, do the same on the other side. Again, a good amount of sold, uh, flux all the way around the pipe, making sure there's no debris or anything in place. And then what I'm going to do, because of this fitting, and I'm using a 22 straight, which is to join the two pieces of pipe together, I'm going to place both sides of the pipe into the fitting. Slight twist once it's in place. Twist again. And all I'm now going to do is I'm just going to wipe away any excess flux from around the joint. So at this stage then I've got my pipe work joined by the 22mm straight fitting, it's all cleaned, it's all fluxed up, ready to apply some solder. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to attach the torch onto my bottle. making sure it's correctly fitted all the way down so there's no leakage from the bottle. I'm then just going to test it, making sure that the gas is on and we've got a decent flame. So at this stage I can regulate the size of the flame by just turning the gas either up or turning it down just so I've got a happy flame. From here then, what I'm then going to do is using the solder, I'm just going to take a piece of solder off, bend over at the edge and I'm going to start to heat up the joint and what I'm looking for when I'm heating up the joint is that the flux will start to run and start to produce a little bit of smoke. As soon as it's at that point then I'm going to basically just dab the solder on first of all, checking for the solder running. At this stage if the solder runs I'll apply a bit more making sure it goes all the way around the joint. So as you can see, I'm just liberally now applying a bit of heat. I'm looking at the solder, both sides. At this stage, I can start to apply a bit of solder. You can see it's not taking at the minute, so we're just going to apply a bit more heat. So now you can see then that the solder's on. It's starting to run around the joint, onto the other side. 
It's run all the way around the joint. I turn the heat off and I'm just going to naturally let it cool down now. So at the minute then we've heated it up, we've applied some solder, the flux using a capillary action has pulled the solder into the fitting and this pipe work is now correctly soldered. So once it's cooled down then we're just going to get some scotch bright on, making sure it's all clean, place it down and that is a joint made with 22mm pipe and a 22mm straight. So guys, that's Matt from uh, USG at Wakefield for Knowledge Hub. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that video of soldering. Uh, remember, unless you are a registered gas engineer or training to be one, um, don't try this at home. If you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe to the channel.